kitsane.com. Come to you today to do a brief sneak peek video on some, a couple items I picked up, or I should say a few items I picked up. And I just want to go over it really quick with you guys. Well, hopefully. Anyway, I just wanted to um, touch base with you guys on certain things um, before I get started. Um, I don't know. I think I mentioned this back in the uh, my earlier videos about the items I pick up and two particular things I always like to uh, share with you guys. If you haven't, this AC adapter, it's a universal one here that comes with different, uh, you know, uh, I guess you would call these here connectors, right? And uh, if you never had one of these things, you know, or if you're a person that, you know, has multiple uh, electronic devices, CD players, maybe portable radios, whatever it may be, certain things, camera settings or whatever, you know, for cameras, you might want to pick one of these things up. They're very handy to have. Um, it also has a USB in here, so if you have to charge something up, there's a USB. This is a nice one here. It's a uh, power lines, puts it out. And it's a universal AC adapter with a USB port. Um, it's got different settings over here. I don't know if you can see that there. Um, it's got different settings, you know, the voltage, I should say, this here. Um, and you can see it there. See, it says 12 volt, 9 volt, 7.5, 6, 4.5. And the reason I'm pointing this out to you is, um, in regards to the sneak peek, I picked up this nice Panasonic <clears throat> um, MP3, you know, DVD. It's a, well, it's a CD player, MP3, and um, I put batteries in it at first. And I guess the batteries weren't that weak, you know, they weren't that uh, strong, and they didn't power up the unit. And uh, so I took the batteries out, and I used my universal adapter here to, uh, you know, power it up to make sure that it did work. And um, to my surprise, I found out that these are the batteries I originally had in there. Okay, and if you look really quick, what you do is you just pop this in like this here. And it's, ba it's a very basic meter. It says good, and it says low, good, and then it's got the middle nose. You can see these batteries, this battery here is showing good. But for some reason, even on the other one too, it's showing good as well. I had these batteries in the unit, right? And I don't know what for what reason, whatever. <clears throat> I couldn't get this guy to power up. So what I did was, I said, well, let me see. I don't know if it makes a difference or not. I ended up putting in, um, so over here you can see it. I put the dur two Duracells in there. And these were charged just like that. They, you know, the status is good. And once I put them in, the unit worked. So you're probably wondering, well, what's my point? Um, when you're buying electronics, stuff like this, and this is pre-owned, of course, even though you have batteries, the point I'm getting at is, even if you have batteries that are testing to be good, and you have a unit like this here, and you see it's not like powering up or whatever it may be, you might want to invest money in getting one of these uh, <clears throat> you know, testers, of course. That's the number one tester. But get yourself good batteries, Duracell batteries. Um, these are energizers. I mean, they do work in other, other electronics, but for some apparent reason, when I popped these two in this unit here, it didn't power it up. As soon as I put the Duracell in, they powered up. I am just wanted to share that with you. Um, whenever you're buying items like this, yard sales, garage sales, thrift stores, or whatever, uh, unless you bring batteries with you, it's all a hit and miss. So, you know, you buy these things, you're hoping that when you get it home and you put batteries in there, it's going to work. That's what I did. I took these two batteries out. I put them in here. And I said, oh, they're good. I tested them out before I put them in. And uh, for some reason, it didn't work. But I said, you know what? Let me try this out. My universal adapter. And uh, it was the one right over here, the yellow one. That's the one I plugged in. I set this to 4.5. That's what the voltage is on that there. <clears throat> and it worked. So I knew I had, I knew the thing wasn't dead, but I just wanted to share that with you. Sometimes it could just be bare batteries that uh, that cause the problem. So you might want to consider investing in one of these and getting yourself a universal adapter with the multiple uh, connectors in here. It's really good to have. I, I think this thing was only ten bucks, and this was I think about five or six. I got this at Walmart. This I don't remember where I picked this. I don't think it offhand. Anyway, enough with that. <clears throat> so here we have a Panasonic. <clears throat> Excuse me, folks. A Panasonic uh, MP3 um, CD player, okay, and.
And you know, whenever I, I pick up these, these CDs, in most cases, I always try, in some cases, if I could, pick up headphones. And I did. I, these are ones I guess you get in the airlines, so you can say JetBlue on it. It's branded with JetBlue on one side. And the other one, the other side, doesn't have it. I guess you don't really need it branded on both. But let me tell you, folks, even though you might say, oh, the guy is going to pair up the Panasonic with these, these cheap headsets, let me tell you something. I put the I put the I plugged this in. I put the CD in there. I put the Nutcracker in there because I like to, you know classical music. And I plug these little babies in. And let me tell you something. Don't knock them. They might be you know cheap in your you know to some people are very cheap. You know, you know the airline gives these things dime a dozen away. But let me tell you something. It really sounded nice on these here. Okay. Um, you know, a speaker's a speaker. As far as I'm concerned, you know, I mean, I'm not saying, you know, you can't say, well, you can't compare this to Bose, but, you know, what is it? I mean, what is a headset? What the hell is a headset? Right. They're, they're speakers in them, right? So that's how it is, but it really works good. And, uh, well, anyway, that's all I'm going to talk about as far as that part goes. So I'm pairing these things up today. You know, it's going to be on eBay, hopefully today, because it's only four items I got, basically. Was it four? No, no, maybe three. Anyway, I got this going here. Okay. <clears throat> The other thing I picked up, which I kind of like, is this little guy here. Now, believe it or not, this is not a candy dispenser. I know you probably you probably look at it and say, oh, it looks like it's a candy dispenser. First off, the arms don't move. Okay, Candy dispenser, this was a candy dispenser. Something in the back would come out here, and you know, you'd put the candy in here, and you'd move his arm, and the candy would come out. You know what this is, folks? This is a radio. And um, it's an AM and FM radio, believe it or not. And if you're a collector of um, M&Ms, you might like this little guy. The only thing, he's very clean, as you can see. He's really clean, all the way around. It's nice. The flip is on here. Okay. And uh, the only thing I found out, as far as uh, with this here, is uh, in regards to you know any flaws. I, I like, like I said, this is the first time ever coming to a YouTube channel, or in this case, eBay. Um, I always like to do videos, uh, demo videos, intros, and sneak vi peek videos to give one, the buyers a heads up, is, you know, let them know that what's going to be coming up on, uh, you know, listed on eBay and give you guys first come, first serve basis if, if you're interested in the items I'm posting and to uh, point out any flaws or discrepancies an item may have. This here, <clears throat> I don't know if you can see it, the camera's not going to show it, the webcam, but there you go. You see over here? See right here, folks. I don't know if it was a cleanser that was sprayed on there, and it kind of like you know, you know, stained the uh, clear glass. I don't think it's supposed to be like that. You know, I don't think it's supposed to be that he's underwater and those are bubbles or anything like that. I think, um, you know, I think someone tried to clean it, whatever, and that's what happened. However, this does pop off. Okay, this does come off, and I did try to clean it. You see, you see what it looks like, folks? I did try to clean it with glass cleaner, and it don't. It's not shattered. It's not cracked. It's just stained. Like, it's got, like, stains on it. And I don't think that's supposed to be that way. But um, that's the only floor I had on, you know, that I, I noticed on it. Um, it is a radio, and I'm going to turn it on. You turn on here is left on. You know, underneath is left on. And you can hear it. The bands, the change the bands is back here. Let's head to, uh, let's try it. I don't want to try an FM. Let's try AM here. The reception around here is pretty bad, too, folks, to be honest with you. So, as you can see, it works. <clears throat> And that's the AM, and that's FM. Okay, that's FM. Okay, that's FM. And it, and it plays pretty good, and that's how you turn it off. It's uh, it's on an off position over here. It says off. Okay. Um, it's got a chain, I mean, like a, a, pull, like a carry uh, strap. I don't know if that's supposed to be on there. I guess it was made like that. I don't know, because you can see it was already, when this wing was made, this was on there. So I guess this is the original thing. I guess you could take it with you, I don't know, to the beach, to the pool, whatever, um, you know, and 
you know, carry it with you, you know. <laughs> um, the battery's going here. I believe I didn't take the back off. Uh, if anybody knows, if you're just the first time coming to the YouTube channel, or uh, in this case, you know, uh, eBay uh, auction, I don't include batteries with the items I sell. And I'm sorry, folks. Um, as we all know, batteries are pricey, and if I was to keep including batteries uh, in everything I sell, I'd have to ante up the price. I'd have to pay that into the price. And uh, not only that, I use the battery for testing items out, such as this, you know. Um, so that's the case. I believe I can't say. Like I said, I didn't take it off here. There's four screws, Phillips, and I believe it's uh, it's either three or four AA batteries in here. Okay, but you can see it's a nice item. It really and it plays good. It plays pretty good, you know, considering. And uh, that's what we got going on. So if you're an eminence collector, I do have a couple of M&M things on uh, eBay right now. Uh, if you're interested in eBay, you know, uh, M&Ms, they're on eBay. But uh, that's what we got going on with this little guy. And last but not least. <clears throat> I picked up this here. Now I didn't. I didn't sell a lot of these here. This one here <clears throat> is the Rock Band Harmonix. Harmonix. Okay. Now uh, I don't know if this is the Beatles special Beatle type. They say I don't know the Rock Rock Band Beatle guitar. What I don't know. It's something along that line. I, I I don't really have the game. I don't play it. I picked this up because. Out of the guitars I sold, I never really seen one like this. The shape, it kind of caught my eye. This is not any markings on you, folks. Like it's not like it's bait or anything. It's I guess they want to give you the marble look, okay? Like they want to give you that marble effect. Everything works on it. Um, you power it on through here, back here, and this takes three AA batteries, okay? Which again, are not included, of course. And um, you power it on. You can see the lights blink, you know. Okay. It's it's this is pretty clean. It's a pretty clean. I don't want you to get the C because videos and pitches. You know they say every pitch tells a thousand words. You know, but not all the time. You know what I'm saying. Um, it, this looks nice and shiny, and it is shiny. Okay, but uh, I just want because you're not seeing it in person, but there is like a little. You can see it over here in the screen right there. See, you can see there's like a little little abrasion like a little scuff marks here okay so you do have scuff marks on the back all right um the front over here doesn't have really any scuff marks on this part however there you go now you see folks now now that you could see in the camera okay in my webcam see right here you got it here and up here okay I, i'll put that in the description too but you know, and I'm going to do a, probably a demo video just to show, just a quick, a quick you know, a brief video just showing this here. Okay? But you do have your, but overall, if you look at the guitar head on, it's nice. It's pretty clean considering. Okay? Pretty clean all the way around. And they call this here the uh, Rock Band Hockner. See it up there? Hockner. I know there's somebody on eBay selling it um, without this part. Without selling this part here, this part's removed. All the selling is just this. So when you get the, if you're, you know, if you're looking at it, you're not getting this part. This is the, the person selling just this part, the guitar. But you can say it's pretty clean. And yes, if people are wondering, does it come with a strap? Yes, the strap is right here. Whenever I pick these things up, I always try to, for the most part, I think I sold one guitar like this, not this one, not this particular style. One guitar like this without the band, and somebody bought it. Unfortunately, you can't always get the, uh, you know, they don't always have the uh, straps on the guitar straps. So, um, but that's basically what we got going on here. Uh, it's not, it's pretty clean overall, considering it's overall pretty clean. As you can see, the sides, okay, sides are not bad, pretty shiny. See that there's pretty clean. All right. All right. Overall, the guitar is clean. I mean, outside a little bit stuff, outside a little markings on this side here. That's basically it. You can see the rest of the guitar is pretty clean. Uh, and I'm looking at it in person. I mean, like I said, that's from what I see here looking at it in person on the face of this here. Chrome, whatever is nice here. Well, I don't know if it's simulated chrome or not. That's the only the only flaw I see is right here, folks. 
okay? There's really not much to talk about this guitar. Um, I'll probably do a video just to show it live rather than just still pictures, you know? And uh, But that's basically what we got going on here. Uh, it's pretty clean. And if you are interested in this guitar or the other two items I have, the M&M's, you know, guy here, this, this little guy here, the radio, okay? Uh, or the um, Panasonic thing here, uh, CD player. Works good. I'm going to probably do a demo on this one, very basic demo on it, just to show you that it works. If you're interested in any of these items I have here, please don't hesitate to contact me at rjpassini at verizon.net, and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Um, again, as I said earlier, the reason why I do these videos, folks, is to um, give the potential buyers a heads up as to what I'm selling on eBay. And, um, you know, it's first come, first serve. You, know, you might you might be a, an M&M's collector and you might be in a market or something like this. Maybe I want to add to your collection, you know. Um, you know, you could put me on your eBay watch list at RJ Passini. And uh, anytime I come up with new uh, items, I put up on eBay. Uh, hopefully, you'll get to see the videos, or you'll get a, you'll get a notice, some kind of notification that I just listed new stuff, or new stuff will come out. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but uh, that's why I do it. If you like my YouTube channel, and you want to be, you know, updated on the items that I put on, on that's going to be, you know, listed on eBay, you might want to subscribe to my channel. I, you, you know, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. If you like what I do with the videos, I do the sneak peek, demo, and intro videos. If you like to give it a thumbs up, that's fine. If you don't, that's fine as well. Um, I do this, like again, like I said, I do this for the buyers, uh, you know, to give you a heads up. And like I said, I also point out any flaws or discrepancies that the items may, you know, have. Uh, this particular one, like I said, the only, <clears throat> the only flaw I see here is with the face mask with that little thing I pointed out earlier. So, uh, but otherwise it works, plays good. He's pretty clean, okay. And that—that's what you got. That's what we got going on. Um, if you have again, if you got any questions, please contact me at rjpassini at verizon.net, and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you have, folks. Thanks again for stopping by, and you take care. Have a good day. Bye now.